Just praying that you just have the space that you need. Okay. okay. Like the angels are here. And we're all for Mama God. Love and night. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Greetings and love, Mother, Father, God, Robin, St. Germain, GFOL, all humanity, and all creation. All humanity are my brothers and sisters, and I miss you all. And I'm here today. I am Mother Mary, I better share that first. <laughs> yeah. uh, I am Mother Mary, and I'm here in these moments to share with you all a big lie that has uh, been perpetuated for 2,000 years here. And it's time that the truth came out. And there is a great urgency that's going on right now. Mother God is here in physicality. Father God is here in physicality. Angels are here in physicality, the masters. And that's who each and every one of you out there are. Royal angels and masters. And we're here on a grand, grand mission of new earth coming in, of Mother God getting her planet back that was stolen from her. And two, ascend her divine throne in each and every heart of her children as we make this amazing divine journey home to mother and father god our divine parents and i wanted to share with you about this lie that has been perpetuated i'm going to take my glasses off well maybe i better leave them on so i can see <laughs> The thing is, is that I was looking at all of you as you were hustling and bustling through the holidays, through the Christmas holidays, and seeing all of the activity going on as, as everyone was running around getting gifts for each other to try and fill a void or to say, I love you. That was the main reason probably or is in a feeling of, uh, well, I have to get someone so-and-so a gift. But Christmas is not about, about giving each other gifts. Christmas has been run by the dark side, the Illuminati. And they manipulated that season of the year to feed off of humanity in a false state of joy. And just as mother said, as she was hanging on the cross when she was Christ, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. I'm here to help you see and to bring you forward in your expansion of your divine Christ consciousness. We all need to hear this and learn this and know this. Mother is the only reason that we are here. God, our creator, who is bringing in this new earth with all of us who step up to become the greatest, greatest <coughs> version of ourselves that we are, the loves that we were created to be in the image and likeness of our divine parents. They're not some, somebody up on the cloud. They're right here on this planet. As we are in every place is mother and father God. And they have called us all home where we live and breathe. No one has to die. Love is eternal. We are eternal. Our bodies regenerate when you are in total alignment with Mother and Father God. And we are capable of growing everything. I'm in the process of uh, growing my teeth. <laughs> and we'll see how they come out here. And. Uh, there are many wonderful ways, especially with the calcium plasma that's coming up to assist in the development of teeth to grow. But anyway, to get back to this, I wanted to share with you uh, about Christ, who is Mother God. Uh, it happened to me when I was 15 years old. I was in my parents' backyard and I was praying to God. And 
the times back then as they are now were very barbaric. The times now have gotten where it's been covered over and everything is about to be exposed. Don't be shocked. And if you are shocked, let it shoot you up to your highest consciousness of what's really going on. So I wanted to share with you how I was impregnated and who was born. Not at Christmas time in December, but in the spring of the year where it has been programmed that um, Christ died on the cross. That's when Christ was born. And I'll share with you in these moments. I was in my parents' backyard and I was praying for God to come and help human, humankind because humans weren't being so kind to each other at all. And next thing I know, I didn't know what was going on. A beam of light came, brought me up someplace. I was floating. And I had no clue what was going on. Remember, this was 2,000 years ago. And uh, I found myself in a huge room that was very shiny all the way around and I was on a table. And I looked around and this whole room of these shiny tables and, and things on the wall that were blinking and all sorts of things. I looked around and I saw all kind of beings there. And a big tall being came walking over to this table where I saw myself laying there with a silver draping over me. And this big tall being went around the table and just kind of looking at me up, up and down. And he turned around and he went like this, like I dream a genie, you know, type of deal. And uh, next thing you know, the draping came up and I was being probed through every orifice that could be probed. And they went in through my navel and they went down, down, down to my groin and there I passed out. I woke, I awoke in my own bed in my parents' home. My mother said, my earth mother said I had passed out in the garden and so they put me in, in the bed. And during those moments, I had no clue what had gone on. And Joseph, um, I was bequeathed to a carpenter named Joseph, who was a wonderful, wonderful man. Very high up in the community, people came to him from all over the place to seek his assistance in building. And we were bequeathed. And I realized that my belly was swelling when I was with child. And I shared this with Joseph and he wasn't too happy, of course. I had no clue how I became impregnated at that time. And Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel had come to me to tell me that I was with child before I went to talk to Joseph. And when I shared this with Joseph, he was, of course, appalled a little, but he loved me. And the elders of the community were uh, harassing Joseph because Joseph and I were talking and um, I was leaving it up to God to handle whatever was going to go on. I knew I was with child because an angel had told me I was. And Joseph had a visitation by Archangel Gabriel as well. 
and he shared with Archangel, with Joseph, that to marry me would be of the highest. And so we were married in a, in a ceremony. And come the spring of the year, my belly was very large. And there was a census called up. And everybody was traveling to get to the places of their birth. And we made a long journey to get there. And I was so large with child and the town was so big. And it wasn't so big, but let's say, but there were so many people there that there was no accommodations at all. And so a kind uh, farmer allowed us to use his stable. And Joseph went in and prepared a place for me to birth the baby. So we thought it was one baby. And the midwife was sent for and she came back. She came to meet me and Joseph and to check out the situation and she wanted to see how far down the birth canal the baby was. And when she went to check me, she pulled her hand out right away and it was withered. She had a withered hand and in total shock. She was not ready for the Christ consciousness I was carrying. And I didn't even know that I was carrying Christ consciousness. But before we get to the birth part here, I need to to tell you about when Archangel Gabriel had come to me. I had gone to visit my aunt Elizabeth, who was also pregnant at the same time. And we greeted each other and we hugged each other. And when we hugged, the baby within her leaped. And that baby within Aunt Elizabeth was John the Baptist. And we hugged it, and Aunt Elizabeth said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And with that, that's when I went to Joseph. And then he had his visitation by Gabriel. And then we went on for months and I swelled to the point of birthing. So there we were in the barn, midwife, hand is crippled, and guess who showed up? Archangel Gabriel, Hope, and a myriad of angels to assist me. And Christ was born. And she came barreling out of me <laughs> Like a shooting star, I have remembrances of these events. And she came barreling out of me like a shooting star that she is. And little did I know at that moment that I was pregnant as well with her twin brother. And he had been pushing from the inside, pushing her out as divine masculine, assist divine feminine in every moment. And he was born. In glory, hallelujah, the heavens were filled with rejoicing. Christ was born, the messenger of love. And the years went by and, and Christ and Yeshua were inseparable. They went everywhere together. They played together and there are many, many adventures. And by the time they were old enough, you know, they were in their 20s. And mom was with Yeshua and their friends all the time, speaking about love, bringing in a new rising consciousness. And the religions of that era were so upset because they, the Jews, we weren't talking about the Jewish religion. Mother and father were speaking about And things became so wild 
that mother was arrested. And the stories that were shared in the Bible are not really true about what took place with Christ, except that she was sold out by Judas. And they came and arrested her as she was praying. To herself, she didn't know she was praying to herself at that time because she is God of all creation. And they came and arrested her for being a whore, for being a whore. And she was not a whore because as human, humanity look at other beings with all their judgments and pointing fingers, she was falsely accused of laying with all of her friends, the masculine friends that Yahshua had and mother had with them. And so she was brutally, brutally beaten and hung on the cross. She was nailed to the cross and agonized it in this They hung her to the cross and she hung there for 11 days upside down. Well, she was being spit upon, rocks cast at her, all sorts of vile things being tossed at God, at my Christ child. And she was in that position for 11 days. And after those 11 days, they put her upright. And she hung there for another 10 days before she said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And she gave up her spirit. And her brother, Yahshua, is the one who took her off that cross. It was a dark, dark day. And the earth shook. But Mother Christ arose again. They couldn't keep love down. And Mother, since then, has been reincarnated 533 times. This is her 534th time of being incarnated in this lifetime to bring love that is the Garden of Eden, heaven. And she was born in this lifetime. And even in this lifetime, she has had more than 600 assassination attempts. Now, in these moments, please know that it's your choice. Mother is here in these moments, calling all of her children home. In these moments, you can either choose God, love, mother of God of all creation, and surrender to love and give her your heart and let her reign in the throne of your heart, divine creator, our mother. And come home to the embrace of our divine parents and the angels and bringing in a new earth where only love exists. No lower thought, no pointing fingers, no anything that would be degrading to any soul only love. That's why all the chaos is happening on this planet. President Trump was mother's father in a long ago time of Lemuria and Atlantis. 
we call him Papa Trump because we know that mom and pops, Papa Trump, are this close. They're close everywhere. And he works for the light. And what he is doing with this nation is rounding up all the dark who has served the dark. and dissolving the pedophilia rings that have been killing our children, eating their flesh and blood, and misleading in all of humanity into darkness. Well, mom came from the darkest, from the lightest of lights to the darkest of darks to retrieve and bring Father God home who is with her now and they are in balanced harmonics and mother and father said this is enough enough is enough we're going back to the heavens of creation with mother and father God creating and bringing in new earth Papa Trump is right there in the front lines gathering all of those who committed treason of the highest against universal law, against God, against all of humanity and all of creation. And there is, there is great roundups going on right now in these moments. So please have peace in your heart and know that everything is going on in these moments for the highest good for God for you, for all of humanity and all of creation. Trust God. You'll never, ever be disappointed. Total surrender to love. Become who you are in this great journey home to God while we live and breathe. No more dying, you guys. No more dying out there is necessary unless you choose it. Because everything that proceeds from your mouth or your heart will manifest. That's the way heaven is. It will manifest if that is what you choose to experience. Because we have got eternal life with mother and father and all of creation now. The veils have been lifted. There are no blinders. Just know that you are protected in these moments when you choose and surrender to God. I surrender to God. And guess what? I command all of my atoms into right action. And none of the atoms can, do, can be out of right action when you call your own atoms into right action for the highest good for God, yourself, and all creation. It's that simple. Love your mother. Love your father. Love yourself. There are great techniques that mother has given us, like the mirror technique of looking at yourself and saying, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You will see your highest self. You will see God in the mirror. And you will come to a place of loving yourself truly loving God and seeing everything and everyone as God creator and being the wonderful being that you're created to be I just know mother has gone through a great great trials and tribulations through all of her lifetimes and this is the lifetime that we are all here to step up, surrender to love, and take on our divine roles to bring in this new earth, to put mother on her throne as she always should have been. And the great lie that I started off this message with is that the dark side has convinced most all of humanity that the one who hung on the cross was Yeshua ben Joseph. It was not.
was the mother. It was Christ. And she's here in physicality. And all of you who say you know Christ, you know God, you should be beaten feet home. Call Love Has One dot org. You can reach us on, online. Book a session with Mother of Creation. She knows you better than you could ever fathom to know yourself. And allow her to remove your blockages to God and all the implants and the garbage that has been planted by the dark side to keep you feeling separated from God. We are never, ever, for one nano moment separated from God. Please, all of my brothers and sisters out there, go check out loveisone.org. History has been a lie, a total lie. That's all being exposed. Her story is the greatest, grandest love story ever to be a part of. Because we're here to be part of the love story of her creation, of her divine love everywhere present. I love you. I love you, Mom. I love you, Pops. I love you, brothers and sisters. Come on home. These are the moments. Let's stand up for love. And let love reign forever and ever, joy forever and ever, and love has won. Woo!